Immortal John Hancock here, and I have another great video for you. Um, I got something special I scored, and I just have to showcase it. And yes, it's an oddball item. Um, I kind of specialize in that. So let me show you what I just scored, and uh, I can talk about it. So what we have here is a very strange Pong hybrid that came out in 1976. Uh, it was the year I was born, I'm 40, and it was done by a company called Universal Research Laboratories, and um, it essentially is more than just a Pong. It's it's kind of like an arcade game in, in a console shell, and this, this company uh, had some leftover parts, they had to make money, and so they decided to get into the consumer um, um, division and, and make some Pong consoles. And this thing is huge. Here's the box again. I want to show you the box. It's it's Indy 500. And uh, it came, uh, the, the box itself is in pretty good shape. It looks like a long time ago it was actually uh, shipped to the, to uh, to somebody, um, that, that's unfortunate, but um, at least it's in decent shape. Uh, the AC adapter that uh, came with it is from Canada. I don't know if it's an aftermarket um, AC adapter, but it's pretty interesting. I showed the Nintendo box here just to show you how big the box is. And anyways, uh, manual's in great shape. This is the manual. Um, has some interesting notes in it. Talks about kind of how to start the games. Uh, it does show uh, these parts, which did come with it. Um, the original cable that came with the system is is damaged. I have a replacement, um, and it does have the uh, original TV switch. The toggle um, part has been broken off, but uh, inter interesting add-on notice that it came with. Um, talking about. Uh, <laughs> Don't keep your uh, s system on too too long, or it's gonna, or it could possibly damage your TV. Came with this little uh, uh, additional paperwork talking about um, if if your system doesn't work right, uh, things to remember. Um, the other interesting thing that the system came with was this, and I'm really really happy about it. But it looks like an original flyer for the console. And it looks like they had some type of like 15 day trial where you could try the system out. Um, talks about uh, you have to use a special AC, uh, AC adapter uh, for the game. And the cool thing is if you turn it over, just a really interesting flyer. I'm really happy, happy that, that it came included with the system. I did get the system off eBay. Um, this is pretty specialized. There's a few uh, of these listed right now um, for ridiculous prices, but this one was more reasonably priced, and so I was able to score it. This is another interesting thing that came with the uh, console, is that it came with these uh, large cardboard inserts to hold the hold this, the console in box, and we're going to show. This is the, the console. It is huge. It has four knobs. It has, uh, you can play uh, robot or human on certain games. Uh, the, the power switch is red. You can uh, adjust the skill of the, of the, of the, uh, the AI, or it's called robot here. It's pretty funny. And then there's four main games, tennis, hockey, and two race games. Um, my console needs a little bit of service, but I'm happy to announce that it is functional. Um, I'm going to show the, the race game here, and uh, the, the race game is pretty interesting. I'm going to show the two-player game, so it's, it's going to be loud. Uh, the sound comes from the unit. Um, here's the back hookups. It's power adapter, and then your um, place where I hook it up to the TV. So um, it's important to know that with these consoles, you have to have uh, a TV with, with, a, with a fine tuner. Um, I have scored this TV 
a couple years now, and it works. It all my pongs work on this this TV. I absolutely love it. So um, I'm very fortunate to have it, and I, I try to I try to showcase um, all, I test all my pong units using this um, specific TV. And uh, the VCR is there just to, this <laughs> TV so small to make it look a little bit bigger. So anyways, let's fire this up and kind of showcase uh, what it does. So essentially, that's uh, what it does when it, uh, that's normal. That, that means it's working. And then to start it, you do this and then you use these knobs here. So pretty much when you crash into a, a car, the goal is to, the goal is actually to the goal is actually to um, have a lower score, and so it's it's a pretty interesting system. I'm very fascinated by um, these older units. And so this is something that doesn't pop up all the time. Um, the, the fact that the box is in decent shape, uh, it still works. Um, I'm very, very, very happy. There's some uh, other modes on this, on this console. It does have a four player um, Pong and, and oh my gosh, it's just, it's a huge console. This, this console is, Easily bigger than an Xbox One. I mean, let's just show the Nintendo cartridge by itself, um, just for reference. That's big. It's a, it's, a, it's a big console. It's in really good shape. There's a battery compartment underneath, um, and it's it's clean. So I just wanted to showcase this. Um, these are some of the oddball stuff that I collect. Um, I just want to thank all my fans. I really look forward to doing more um, more types of these videos. This is some of the oddball stuff I do collect. I do have a patron. I don't want anybody to feel obligated to to uh, to donate or contribute. Um, some of this stuff does cost money. I don't. I didn't have this in my collection, and this is stuff that I like collecting. I, I like collecting lots of things, but this is kind of the oddball stuff that I like to pursue because I, I I'm I like video game history. I like it. Like some of the stuff to be preserved. Now's the time to to capture some of these older games, these older devices that aren't necessarily as popular. You know, I I don't collect stuff for value. I didn't pick this up saying, "Oh my gosh, um, this is worth X amount of dollars." I you know I, I must have it. Um, I collect this because it's odd and it has a his, historical uh, significance of just being an early console, a non Atari console. Um, and actually has a video game on it that's not Pong. And so I just, uh, just a big fan of this stuff. And uh, what oddball things do you folks collect? And if you want to comment below, um, this is again, just a, just a small example uh, of the things I collect. And I look forward to showcasing many more videos in the future. So thank you so much to my fans. And uh, thank, thank, thank you for watching this.